Uh, round six of the Formula 4 season takes place uh, this weekend. The 2021 German Formula 4 season um, concludes this weekend. And delighted to say there's strong Irish interest in the form of 15-year-old Alex Dunn, who joins us now from Germany. Alex, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm Not good, thanks. Good, come here. Thanks for joining us. Um, it's good to talk to you. And I, I should say congratulations because uh, I know you have a busy weekend of racing to come, but you've had um, practice and a lot else today and you've made a very, very impressive start to the weekend. Give us a little bit of insight into how today has gone for you. Yeah, thank you. Um, obviously, yesterday we had the uh, the first free practice session of the weekend, which was um, mainly about learning the track for me as Nürburgring is a a new challenge and a, a new track for me. I've never been here before. So um, I was mainly using the two free practice sessions as um, kind of my way of just getting into the track and setting them in. Um, so yesterday was dry and today was slightly damp, um, half wet, half dry. Um, and we ended practice two, uh, P1, and then coming into quali after only having one practice session in the dry. Um, still took me a little bit of time to bed in. So... Um, it was kind of quality one was still just learning the track and getting used to everything so we uh, we ended up p5 in quality one and uh, p2 in quality two so do you go into a weekend like this do you set yourself targets in terms of what it is you want to achieve or is it just a case of this is a brand new experience in terms of a track you've never raced on before and you know there's that dividing line between wanting to do as well as you can do and just enjoying the experience well, I think after racing at such a high level in karting, um, I've always been in a situation where I had to adapt if we ever came to a track where we hadn't had much practice. So my um, my goals for the weekend um, have still stayed the same. Um, my goal is obviously to win. Um, but yeah, I knew I knew this weekend it would be a little bit of a little bit of a harder task, but. I still um, believe in myself in here as well. I've done that at any of the tracks. Now, the Nürburgring, for, for those of us who've watched Formula One over the years, obviously it has been a, a venue for the German Grand Prix, the European Grand Prix and the Luxembourg Grand Prix. Is that the exact same track that you race on? So are, are you, or, or is it is it a slightly different track within the Nürburgring? Because it must be mind-blowing to turn up and race on something that you've either maybe played in a computer game or like most of us have watched on television. Yeah, um, Nürburgring is a it's an it's a very prestigious track and it's an incredible facility. Um, I remember when I drove when I w when we drove up to the track, um, all the huge buildings outside and the incredible facility was really nice to see. Um, especially driving on one of the most famous Formula One tracks in the world. Um, but yeah, we're driving on pretty much the same layout as what Formula the Formula One Grand Prix went to this year. Um, we do a, sh a, sh um, a slightly sh slightly shorter layout than mm. what they did in Formula One. Um, but it's mainly the mainly the same. Okay, can you explain to me? So you're you're 15 years of age. I, I'm told your your birthday next week. So can I get in early with the first happy birthday of the year? Um, so <laughs> thank you. But how thank how does much. how does a lad from Clonbalogue in Offaly get to this level? Where did your love of motorsports and your your first experience with karting? How did you get into it? Well, my um, my first my first um, guess you say look on motorsports started when. Um, when I was around five or six years old, I always used to um, go to the racetracks with my dad when he was racing. So I've always been around him from a very early age. And um, I remember when I was nine then, he uh, he introduced me into karting. And um, he brought us down to our local kart track as boy in Meath. And uh, ever since I sat in the seat, I've, I've loved it ever since. And I, I don't want to put too much pressure on you, but you know, you've, you've done really, really well this year. Uh, am I right in saying you, you know, you've had a, a couple of four rookie wins from six starts you've had a couple of pole positions along the way as well that like it's it's gone really well and and you know you this is this is what you want to make a career of you want to join john watson and eddie irvine and other guys like that who've raced at the very pinnacle of the sport yeah it's um it's, it's a great it's a great feeling to be one of the uh, one of the very few irish people at a, a really high level in motorsport and um, so far as my rookie season has gone in f4 it's gone very well i've had quite a few rookie wins many podiums three pole positions so so um so far so good and just the challenge with all of this is obviously i know you, you have to keep an eye on on school and uh, have you done your junior cert or is junior cert coming down the tracks um no i haven't um i haven't i haven't i actually okay. didn't do my junior cert, okay, well, um, okay. but 
we'll, we'll hear Will. I do my, uh... No, go on. I do my... Sorry, carry on, sorry. No, no, you're grand. No, so you, you're, you're balancing all. Like, you're balancing school and life of a teenager with motorsport as well. Like, I, I'm looking at the pictures. The, these are... They're like Formula One cars without the halo device. Like, they're very similar to what Formula One cars would have looked at a couple of years ago. But I'd imagine it's it's not the cheapest thing for yourself and your dad and everyone involved to to keep going. So it's it's great to get that bit of success and hopefully get people's interest to come on board as sponsors and come on board to help become part of the team and part of the story. Yeah, um, what, you, what you said is very true. From motorsport, unfortunately, is not, a, not one of the... Uh one of the cheap, cheapest sports to get yourself into. Um, I guess, at least for us as a family, financially, it's been very tough, but um, we managed to uh, man manage to get through it. And we've had a few few great sponsors and a few great partnerships, which has really helped me along the way. One of them um, is one of the extremely big, uh, one of the big truck and uh, companies in, in Ireland, Harris Group. Um, they, re they really helped us with my racing career this year. And... Mm. Um, Without them and also VTL, I don't think uh, this year would have been possible. And if anyone wants to get involved, you'll find a space on the car somewhere to fit a logo on it. So it's alexdunracing.com uh, is your website. But before I let you go, have you done many interviews on the radio and television like this? Um, I've done I've done a couple of interviews. Um, I did one with um, Dermot and Dave. Oh yeah. Um, so I've done I've done a couple of them. Okay. I have to commend you because I'm a little bit older than you, as you might imagine, and you're far better on the radio than I am. So fair play to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Alex, Thank I you. look forward to chatting to you. I, I'm going to remind you now, when, when you hit Formula One, forget about Dermot, Dave and those other radio stations. I'll be on to you for the first big interview. So I wish wish you well this weekend and wish you well with, with what I hope is going to be a great career. Good luck and thanks so much for being with us. Thank you very much and thank you for having me.